alternative capital. When I'm to think of alternative capital, I generally would associate it with the value that a person or an individual or the greater being actually has to offer in regards to its essential nature. There's an externalized system of what you could call capital. That's not the true essence of the capital. The capital is actually the source from which that emanation stems. And that is actually the beginning point of humanity, of the existence of the being in its essential form. That is the ultimate essence. To me, that is alternative capital. God bless. When I look at alternative capital, it's about uh, being able to survive and to live without the use of money as such to constantly attain what we need to survive. So by growing, of course initially you'll need the money for the land to grow your own food and, and livestock and things like that. But after that, I guess, upfront usage of money, then you should be able to hopefully self-sustain yourself with, with your food, with the basic necessities of food and shelter. <laughs> Okay, and that is worth three hundred and fifty dollars. For start with, I guess we'd break the two words apart, alternative meaning something different. And capital, well, besides capital letter, it would presumably mean something to do with finance. Um, capital is usually referred to like capital assets, so it's like things like buildings and stuff like that. But all to do with wealth, I guess, and assets. And so you automatically think about, okay, what that costs, where do you get the money for that? Um, and so you think about banks and financial institutions and so perhaps alternative capital is alternatives to banks and standard money market I guess. Alternative people, alternative capital, alternative music, alternative shop, alternative life, alternative weed, whatever. We are alternative. That's correct. To me, I think it means, not anti-establishment, that's a bit harsh, but maybe um, just going against the norm. People's capital. Yeah. People's capital. Where people can do Shallow, yeah. Enjoy themselves. Get away from the hustle and bustle of you know like cities like Sydney and Melbourne. It's just in Canberra. Canberra, chilled out entertainment. Well, you can't surf in Canberra. No, you can't. That's making fun. Yeah, I, I don't really know. Right, so that's, that's probably beach lifestyle. Yeah. What doesn't it mean? <laughs> that's the bigger question. It's a big white house in the middle of Bay, which I'm not quite fond of in politics, walking around in suits. Alright. Alternative capital. I think alternative capital is maybe the opposite. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, alternative capital. I think one of the elements of alternative capital is that land and housing are taken out of the commodity market. Richard? Yeah, that's good. And we have a new basis for a monetary system so that it's not so airy fairy, that it's actually based on the spirit that lives within the land and people and not the actual substance itself. Yep, that's it. Alternative capital. Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's probably not that behind me. So. Yeah, and, and further down there, Woolies up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but uh, you can't deny that Byron's beautiful. So maybe maybe the alternative side of it will move on in G Corps, it already has, but uh, it will retain its environmental beauty, I'm sure. Um, what else can I say? about self-sustainability. I mean, I'm sure that there is a possibility that we can all be self-sustainable in the sense that we grow our own vegetables and if you're not vegetarian, then you produce your own chickens and livestock. And also um, looking more at using transport, not so much using cars, but going back to old school, like your feet, 
um, maybe cycling if the bicycles are already built, not to build new ones. Um, and yeah, I mean, horse and cart. That's it. <laughs> I suppose to me, alternative capital means, yeah, it's about the city. You know, um, we've got friends here, you look around, everyone's dressed in their own manner, they have their own style, and it's lovely. They can gather in a city and all be accepted. Uh, just fitting in, you know, uh, sense of everyone's the same, you know, in their own different right. It's, uh, it's great. I don't know what else. Um, I don't know, just a chilled out vibe, everyone's nice, everyone's happy to meet you, party, it's great, doesn't seem to be any major problems, apart from the police giving you a bit of hassle, but it's all good. <laughs> alternative capital, well it's where all the alternative people are now deciding I suppose, um, but I don't think it's Byron, I think Byron's been taken over now, it's more... Um, What's that word? Well, because to me personally, it's because it, mate, I can come down and um, I can anyone can dress how they like, be who they like, and everybody. It's nothing to do with image. Every, everybody accepts everybody for who they are, which is it's so not mainstream. Which is what I, I'm not mainstream, and that's what I like, mate. It's it's fucking unreal. Puts a smile on your face, buddy. And that's that's puts a smile on your face, mate, and that's what it's all about.